It's time for the Manhattan Pizza Post Game Show on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Manhattan Pizza, serving the best dang pizza in town. Now let's rejoin the broadcast team on the Game Day Broadcast Network. And we welcome you back here, Andy Hayes, alongside Billy Clay. Final score today, the Oakton Cougars 8, the South County Stallions 1. The Cougars wrap up a big victory here. They lock in a state playoff berth, and they also will play for the Northern Region Championship on Friday night against the winner of Lake Braddock and Marshall. Billy Clay, got a chance to watch some of the highlights here in this one. Let's go back and check out what we saw here with regard to the uh, – the Cougars and Stallions today, and uh, get your commentary here on this one. What do you think? And we'll go back to the bottom of the first inning here, and we'll switch on to the third. This is where Oakton kind of broke it open, Billy. This is where they found success today. Three runs scored in the bottom half of the third. Yeah, they were very successful in that inning. They went ahead. Uh, you know, they started out the inning, Keith nicely getting a hit. Followed up with an, uh, two other singles. You know they had four hits in a row, and anytime you can, anytime you can uh, put hits in a row like that, you're going to put the other team back on their heels on defense. And at at the time when there were no runs, to go ahead and be able to drop a uh, three spot on somebody is just is a great thing to do. Keith nicely with a nice hit out into left field here. I tell you, Oakton's bats were alive here in this one, no question about it. They ended the day with ten hits here against Devin Gould. And they also hit against Michael Smith and Dan Graham. But the one thing that this Oakton team does extremely well is they score with guys in scoring position by hitting them around. They run the bases hard. And then on top of that, they play great defense behind their pitcher. R.J. Gaines today, I mean, he, he gave up some hard hits, but his defense was there. They turned two one time. They, you know, got guys out with diving plays in the outfield. I mean, that's what you expect from a team that's going to go play for a Northern Region title. You know that Gaines really wanted the shutout today. And the error, the error by his third baseman there in the last inning caused him not to lose that. But, uh, you know, you ask any pitcher going into a game, we're going to give you a complete game with just one out, with one error. Will you take it right now? They'll take it all day long. So he's got to be really happy the way they played behind him today. Brian Burns with a nice butt down the third baseline. It's a big collision down there. Bartosik scores. And the big left-handed swing here from Berger. Doubles in the gap. And that would score another for the Cougars. Again, three runs. Burns would later come around. This is what Oakton does best. They apply pressure. And then they force you to play from behind, and eventually they get you. They've done this all year long, Bill. This is no secret. You know, they played small ball early. It seemed like they were even playing small ball when they had a lead. And, and uh, uh, they're just smart. They, they understand the importance of every run, not just all the runs. And, that, and that's what you have to do in this game, especially when you don't know, when, you know how you're going to do against a team you never played before. Every run is so important. And then what Oakton has a great job, what they do a great job of is they get the lead, they keep the lead. They, they understand how to win games. Head to the fourth inning here. South County, they had their opportunities today. They put some guys in scoring position, but they were unable to capitalize. It seemed like every time they got a guy out there, Oakton would shut the door and they would get out of the jam here. RJ Gaines today, size him up a little bit with the way he pitched. Another outstanding performance from him. Well, you mentioned it before. He likes to pitch at a great pace, which which if you're playing defense behind him, you love that in a pitcher. Get the ball in the dirt, stay in the dirt, throw a strike, get the ball back from the catcher. Hey, and let's throw another one. And that's what he did all day today. Uh, you know, a lot of these South County guys got to see him three times, uh, some some four, and uh, the adjustments just couldn't be made. He, he just knew uh, he just had a great game today, and it was just fun to watch him pitch. Well, it took about three innings for Oakton to get going offensively, but I believe they put a couple runs on the board every inning after that. They eventually win it 8 to nothing here. The big two-run shot from Brian Burns will highlight the, the moments of glory later on in this one. But ultimately, Oakton looked like a team destined to play in that championship game on Friday night with the way they played in all three aspects of the game today. You know, they have an assistant coach, Scotty Rowland, who's been there before, been there, done that, and he, t he told me before the game, that he told the kids that it, it's always exciting. It, it never gets old. And he hopes the kids will, would, would embrace the moment and understand just how important this game is. 
because just like you said, the winner of this game is now qualified for the state tournament, something that just about it, just every team in the region would just love to do, and, and they're there, win or lose. But saying that, you know that Oakton's going to go into Friday night's game and they're going to do everything they can to win that game. They want to hang a banner. Well, today, South County, they struggled early finding the strike zone. Devin Gould, who's been a great pitcher all season long, fell behind in a lot of at-bats against hitters for Oakton, and we've seen that recipe really backfire for any pitcher that tries to do that with the Cougars. But South County kind of hung in there. It's, this game was still close late. It, it was taken kind of out of reach after Burns hit the home run and put it up to 8 nothing. But what's your take on South County? How, how do they – feel about their season after today they have nothing to hang their head on i tell you that they they won the district tournament they're hanging a banner at, at the school and that is a tough district anytime you have to go through lake braddock to win anything uh you've got to congratulate yourself i thought you know they had a great season and they've, they've now got this far in this tournament they should be very proud of what what they've done so far and uh you know i I personally wasn't sure they were a team that was going to make it this far. They proved me wrong, and, and good for them. Congrats to Coach Robbie Smith in his first year. An outstanding run for the South County Stallions. But too much Oakton today. Connor Flanagan with a big double in the gap. That plated a run. And i uh, tell you what, this, uh, this Cougar team, one through nine, just no weaknesses. That's what I see in this team. There's just not a weak spot where you say, well, we can take a breath here. All the way through the lineup, you got to work to keep them off the base paths. And they – they put it to you. I mean, they really do. Yeah, they wear out that right center field. They wear it out, wear it out. The next thing you know, they get a couple hits down the left side, so you're really not sure where to position your players. Uh, they just put the bat on the ball. It's all you can hope for your, your guys to do. I don't know how many strikeouts there were today. Not, not very many. Um, they just kept things going. Once they got a guy on, they were, they were very successful in getting him over, and you have to do that. Joey Bartosik probably doesn't get enough credit for how well he plays for this team on a regular basis. And there's Brian Burns. The big two-run shot scores Bartosik, and that one put it out of reach. Eight to nothing. South County would score another run, but Burns gives Oakton the final touches on a state playoff berth. Congratulations to Justin Janis and the Cougars. A job well done. They will play past Friday night, but first and foremost, Absolutely. they want the Northern Region to head back to Oakton High School. They've got a chance at that on Friday. We'll see if they can pull it off. And Coach Janis will have them ready. No doubt about it. All right, folks, that does it for us here in our Manhattan Pizza postgame report. The Oakton Cougars victorious 8-1 to one over South County for our crew, Helene Shane, Michael Saltis, McKenzie Walter, Lexi Cato, and Danny Noakes. For Billy Clay, I'm Andy Hayes. We'll see you next time here on the Game Day Broadcast Network. Coming into the game, we knew it would be a challenge. We knew that they were a great team, winning their district, beating Lake Braddock, and um, we just really wanted to take it to them. And, um, you know, I think we did that. RJ pitched great. One through nine, we all we all hit well. Put up eight runs on a great team. It's, it's, a, it's a great win. You know, he attacks batters, and that that's all you can ask for in a pitcher. Puts it on the ground. Our infield makes plays. Puts it in the air. Our outfield's fast as anything, and they'll, they'll catch the ball. And, you know, that's, that's kind of the way we play our game, and it worked out today. You know, we're taking it one game at a time. Hopefully we'll get a region championship, but it, it's great to know that you have the opportunity to play for two more championships, and it, it's awesome. Senior year, couldn't ask for anything more. It felt good. I mean, one through nine, we all hit the ball very well. We all played defense very well. We all got, we got the job done as a team. Yeah, it, it really does. He goes at the batters, and it really helps us as a defense because he doesn't give them much walks, and it keeps us on our toes. Um, I think it's huge for our program, especially our seniors who have been with us a couple of years, um, Joe Bartosik, Mitch Carroll, Brian Burns and Connor Flanagan, some of those other guys too. It's just they've been with us for a couple of years, a couple of years starters, so it's, I think it's nice that they've, uh, they've worked very hard to get to this point. I think they've earned this uh, opportunity, so I'm excited for them. Yeah, I just think if, he's, if he keeps that good pace and keeps throwing strikes, it keeps everybody interested in the game. You know, I mean, baseball, if you slow it down, it can, it can, it can get boring and you lose interest, even, even people that love the game. But you keep that good pace, throw strikes, and that keeps our guys active and, and you know, putting balls in play, just use that good defense, and that's been, it's kind of been, it's worked for us this year. Obviously, we feel good about our pitching situation. I mean, besides RJ, we have everybody available. 
Um, you know, and so it, you know, we'll just go with it from there. I mean, other guys have got innings uh, for us this year. Other guys have won games. So we're just going to kind of rely on those guys to hopefully do their job and get us to that, uh, you know, get us to where we want to be. Honestly, we just tell our kids that they've earned the opportunity to play in a championship game. They should be excited about it. We're just going to play to win one game, and then whatever happens from there happens from there. We'll, you know, we go on to Tuesday after that. But uh, as far as Friday goes, we're just going to try to win the next game and hopefully uh, win each pitch and win each inning. Yeah, no, no. They, I mean, it's, it just seems like when when our offense gets going, it seems like Joe Bortosic and Joe Rizzo, they're right in the middle of it. So uh, both uh, both very good players have had very good years, and especially when we've when we've needed them, they've come through. So hopefully, we keep that uh, keep that good mojo going.